Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Aries Sun Moon and as well rising weekly tarot readings, uh, October seventh to October thirteenth, two thousand and nineteen, guys. And uh, bear with me just a couple of seconds here to shuffle the tarot cards, <clears throat> and uh, we are to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Aries, is going to be the uh, Page of Pentacles, followed by the next one here which represents the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week. We do have the Ace of Swords, followed by the third card which represents the positive aspect of the week for you, that will be the Seven of Wands, and then the last one which stands for the guidance that Saru is offering to you. Uh, that will be the Hierophant card. All right, so uh, quite of an, an interesting week here. We do have a person that is going to be involved with you and uh, there is a, a big deal that is to happen in between you two. But before we go into that, let's run the cards one more time. So Page of Pentacles, it is uh, the topic of the week, the very, uh, the very theme of it. Then uh, we do have the Ace of Swords, which stands as a challenge. Afterwards is going to be the Seven of Wands, which represents the uh, positive aspect. And then the last one here, guys, that will be the Hierophant card, which stands for the um, for the guidance that Tarot is offering. All right, so the Page of Pentacles, um, <clears throat> it is the topic itself, and it is catalyzed here by the Seven of Cups. So first of all, we do have a passive supporters and it's a very awkward a combination of cards is because that should be a quite of a, uh, a calm and peaceful type of person. But this time around, his peace and calmness of that individual itself, it's kind of disturbed by unrealistic expectations that this, um, this individual is going to have toward you uh, now it is entirely up to your um, performance around them or with them that is to ground their uh, their expectations in general and to to ground you know their um, I, I don't know how to say it really mm, to ground their dreams you know that could be your child they kind of like have certain expectations for a, a Christmas present and if you do not ground though those dreams they may be left uh, severely you know disappointed at the end of the day but the point with these uh, with these two cards here it is that the more silent treatment you give to this person either career wise or either relationship wise you know uh, the the bigger disappointment you are going to inflict upon them because the page of pentacles it kind of thinks that it is it is a special, right? You're gonna make an exception for them. It is always how the page of pentacles takes 
takes other people around, it takes a special people around. And it seems that you are a, a special person for them. And for that reason, you know, because they, they have you as a special, uh, as a special person, they think that you are, that's why they do have those kind of like, you know, fallacies that are revolving around uh, their head, no different than uh, this guy that uh, see you having having you know rough time into your relationship and start you know uh daydreaming that you're gonna break up and they're gonna be with you all right so uh, it's very important here should you not be ready to give uh, the the same amount of commitment as the page to pretty much unfortunately bring down their uh their expectations uh, the next card, it is about the challenges and I almost covered it up with the first card that will be the Ace of Swords and it's catalyzed here by the Devil card. We do have a um, active enemies, okay? So with these two cards, uh, the truth needs to be displayed. Um, once again, you know, should you not be ready to um, to manifest those expectations of the page, then it is uh, it is important that you show them that that's not going to happen in none of the cases. But with these uh, with these two cards and the uh, um, active enemies, it does look like as well that uh, you are going to lose a certain control over the over this person once you over the page of pentacles. I mean, uh, once you divulge uh, the reality, and uh, for that reason, the challenge itself is going to be the mental strength from your behalf and spiritual strength for that matter, you know, to just get over this uh, un unpleasant time when you burst the bubble of someone that you see that they do have a thing for you, all right? Because uh, that could be as well uh, your friend that hope that secretly hopes that you're going to end up in a relationship at some point, but although you are seeing that you have no intention of such thing whatsoever, and secretly you know you are um, kind of like taking advantage of this standpoint of his, but it is time for you to kind of like destroy his dreams, right? Or her dreams, that is. Um, so it's it's kind of like to me, it does look like that this uh, this week itself is going to be a week where you pretty much settle the score, all right, or pretty much put, uh, I don't know, in my country, the expression is put someone at the place they belong, okay, uh, because... Um, Otherwise, you know, those uh, those fallacies that they do have in their minds are going to start manifesting in a sense of that this person is going to start crossing certain boundaries, right? And they, they, they will start, how can I place it? It could become a stalker as well, or it could become someone that thinks things about uh, you and them that never happened in these uh, in these kind of uh, in these kind of stuff. So you need to put him in a place it's belonging. You need to build up those those boundaries in between you and uh, you and him on you and her, uh, which are gonna keep them aside. Are not, are not gonna allow them to enter in your uh, in your private space. The next one uh, that will be the positive aspect of the week, and we do have the seven of wands, and it is catalyzed by the two of swords. So uh, these two cards, as a positive aspect, it does point to severe amounts of peace. Additionally to that, they do point that you are going to find always a, a way how to um, save, your, save your ass, I would say, all right? It's kind of like <laughs> saving your place, saving your, saving your achievements, saving your milestones as well. But also you're going to always be able to find the right moments of action throughout, these, uh, throughout this week. Not to mention that whatever a temptations, tem temptation, I'm sorry, it comes in your way, you are to be able to resist it like a, a, a fallacious opportunity, fallacious a, a, a proposition, you know, a, a celluloid expectations and all these kind of, uh, all these kind of stuff will be no match for you because here is the kicker, the knee slapper, that whenever a thing is presented to you, you are always going to consider every single point of view and it is very unlikely that you would like to disturb the balance that you have so much 
uh, worked and fight for to create either into your career or either into your relationship and it seems that the page it's kind of like threatening this page of pentacles is threatening the balance by trying to infiltrate your private zone all right for one way or another without your permission the problem is not that they're trying to be closer to you all right the problem is that they do not ask for your permission they are imagining that they do have your permission they are interpreting the signs in your behavior in a wrong way and it is time for you to put them where they belong so lastly about these uh, the positive aspect here as well it is that uh, it does look like that you are always going to be ready to act and counteract very fierce of guarding your grounds and your boundaries as well allowing none to enter in them if they are uninvited and the last uh, the last card here it is about the guidance for you Aries that is going to be the Hierophant and it is catalyzed by the two of Pentacles so uh, guidance wise uh, it does look like that uh, you first need to demand a trustworthy behavior what I mean is that it's not enough that someone shows a uh, interest to be more than just a friend with you you know or to be a part of your life first they have to earn your trust first they have to earn your um how do you say it in english first they have to prove that they are that they can be uh, counted on that they can be a, a reliable person out there additionally to that these two cards here are, are, are pointing that there could be some sort of a um, criteria of yours that could be outdated in a sense of that a, uh, you are a way too stubborn in regards to properties that a specific individual or a project or a situation in general has and for that reason you need to give it a, a thought you know what of your ideas and concepts are outdated and therefore change them around because it does look like that some of your uh, some of your beliefs are going to start uh, appearing to be alien to you all right and by you uh, abandoning those concepts and those ideas to those beliefs and adopting new one it seems that you are to provoke some minor changes out there into your uh, into your life um, daily routine life I mean that from one of those small changes a big change could appear a change that will allow you to proceed further with your life with much more enthusiasm you know and they uh, you are to provoke much more varieties in there that you can take advantage of so that being said there is this was your a weekly tarot reading september um october i'm sorry october 7th to october 13th 2019 i hope you uh enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, we're gonna see each other around until then bye